Whit Merrifield, I'm telling you, bro, you're one of the grinders of the game. You've got skills off the charts. To see the success you've had this year has been awesome to watch. Thanks, Wish. I appreciate it. It's been a, uh, it's been a grind, but it's part of, uh, you know, it's part of baseball. You show up every day and do your best to, to compete. Well, and I think that's what we, that's what we love you the most. Each and every day you take that field, man. You bring that pride, that passion, that love for the game, and it shines through. You know, it took me a while to get to the big league, so I'm enjoying every every game I got up here. So. Um, I don't really like days off because that means I don't get to play in a big league game. So show up and play and, and, and give it my best every day. To see you here in the All-Star game, I'm so stoked for you, man. Continue all the success you've had in the first half. Keep it going in the second half, man, because you never know where you're going to end up at the end of the season because anybody that gets somebody like you would be honored to have you. I appreciate it, Swish. Thank you. You got it, my man. Enjoy the festivities, bro. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we're Merrifield right here. Joey Gallo, bro, congratulations on your first All-Star appearance, man. Tell me how you're feeling. I'm uh, overwhelmed, man. There's a lot of stuff to do here, uh, but I'm excited. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be on the All-Star team. Obviously, watch it growing up. Uh, to actually be here, it's, uh, it's kind of surreal. Well, as a fan, the one thing that I'm disappointed in is my man isn't in the home run derby. I can't believe that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Rangers didn't really want me to do it, I risk getting <laughs> hurt, hurting my obliques. Of uh, coming off that injury, so uh, maybe next year, hopefully. I told Belly I'll do it in L.A. for him, uh, beat him in front of him. He's there you go. <laughs> it's been a, such an amazing run for you guys so far, man. Hunter Pence is here. Mike Miner is here. Just the success that you guys have had down there. Just tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, we kind of started that that chemistry from the beginning, and we believed in, you know, not, not a lot of people thought we'd be a great team, but uh, we believed in that in spring training, and we said we're going we're gonna to go with that. We're going to go out and fight every day, and uh, bringing guys like Hunter Pence in and Miner having the year he's having, uh, it's just been huge for our team, so uh, can be happier. Well, you can talk about all your team all you want, bro. What I want to talk to you about is just the adjustments that you've made. Bro, you've been so consistent this year, right? Exit Velo is up on base, which I love on base, guys, and you're one of those guys right now. Any adjustments you made this offseason moving into this year? Yeah, I think one of the big things, like we talked with our hitting coaches, Luis Ortiz, just was about being stubborn in the zone, um, not chasing pitches, which is tough to do. Um, but that, that's definitely helped me out. I've been able to draw a lot of walks and be a higher on base guy, which I take a lot of pride, pride in. Um, and just getting pitches to hit, trying to try to swing at strikes. And if I do that, I know good things will happen. Yeah, I mean, these guys are throwing 100 miles an hour. And with this frame, bro, you, you make contact. That thing goes a long way. Yeah, if you can, if you can actually hit the ball at 100 <laughs> miles an hour, good things happen. Most of the times you don't hit it. But uh, when, when you do make contact, good things happen. Well, I'm looking forward to next year, bro. I'm looking forward to this year. Congratulations on your first All-Star appearance. Do you know how fortunate we are to have this man? I mean, we're not necessarily on a set. But we're down here. Cody Bellinger, bro, you are a, just a stone-cold G this year, bro. It's been so much fun to watch you, bro. How, how do you continue to keep doing what you're doing? Um, I don't know, man. It's been crazy. Uh, there's been some days where you feel like crap. You just got to go out there and grind through those days and uh, just understanding the game within the game and knowing when you just got to get on base and, and not try to do too much, and that's just kind of what I've been learning. Well, for a young player to watch you as, as a guy that's out of the game, to watch your swag, your style, the, the overall consistency that you've gotten this year, man, it's just you say you feel like crap, but for the rest of us, we're like, man, he's doing it day in and day out, especially for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hey, I know the last couple of years have been tough in the postseason, but you guys are on your way back there again. Yeah, we are. We threw the, we threw the, we threw the World Series in the, in, in the garbage. Uh, blessed to be there. We'll never forget it. Uh, but we're focused on this year, and we're doing what we can this year to try to get back there. Yeah, no doubt. Well, with everything you guys did in the offseason, it just kind of seems like you guys have opened up that locker room, let the young guys be themselves, man. I think that's so huge for an organization, especially with the youth talent you guys have. Yeah, that's what it is. There's dudes coming up. Well, we said it, we, we saw it in spring training. We said we got dudes in the minor leagues that can come up here and do damage. And uh, they got their opportunity, and they've all been doing it, and it, it's been fun to watch, and it's been fun to be a part of. Well, you got a, a whole heap of you guys. We've seen it on Instagram. You guys are on the private plane coming in here, yeah. man. Congratulations again, man. Continue to keep doing your thing, brother. Hey, you're on the way to an MVP, man. Proud of you, bro. Appreciate it. All Thank right, you. Man. Wilson Contreras in the building, brother. How you feeling, my man? Good, bro. Good. Happy to be here, guys. That's right. Hey, yeah. I'm telling you, man, you guys are starting to make a push, right? You guys have all the talent in the world. Come the second half, what do you guys need to do to run away with that division? Uh, obviously, we need to make some adjustments defensively and offensively. Uh, we didn't finish how we wanted to. We know we're, we're still in the first place, but I don't take it for granted. 
Uh, I think this this break will help us to, to clean our minds a little bit and uh, come back stronger the second half. Of course, you know you're going to do that. It's where you guys shine. You guys have for years. Yeah. I need to know this. Last year you go paya, go deep in the All Star game. <laughs> Tell me you're going to do it again. Man, uh, I'm going to try to do it again. You know, <laughs> I didn't expect that uh, last year, but it happens. Obviously, I enjoyed uh, all my time last year, and this year is going to be different. It's going to be way better than last year, for sure. Bro, one of my main things is I love your swag. I love your joy for the game. Just tell me that comes. Tell me you feel like a little kid out here. I mean, I feel every time that I go to a ballpark, I come out to the ballpark, I feel like a little kid. This is everything that I dreamed when I was a kid, since I was a kid. And now that I'm here, I do everything. I would do everything for my team to happen to win and enjoy this, this game as much as I can. Wilson, congratulations, Thank my you, man. You got it. We saved the best for last right here, Christian Yelich, bro. You've had an unbelievable season. Wait, let me put it this way, bro. As good as you've been in the past, you're better this year. How's that happening? I think you just try and improve on what you've done prior. You always want to get better in this game, no matter how good or bad it's gone for you previously. And uh, you know, made some adjustments last year in the second half, kind of worked on them in the offseason, really wanted to take that into 2019. And, we may able to do that so far. I mean, do that like over the top, man. You've been absolutely amazing right now. 30 home runs just to see where you're at, bro. It's just been absolutely amazing. You continue to grow as a player, and as fans, we absolutely love all that. I appreciate it, man. That's the goal. You always want to get better, uh, never be satisfied, and uh, constantly just trying to improve. All right, let's talk about this squad right here, the Brew Crew right now. I'm telling you, you guys got yourself in contention. Second half moving forward, what's it going to take for you guys to overtake the Cubs? Yeah, I mean, like you said, we gave ourselves a chance. We put ourselves in a good position to, you know, have a meaningful second half, be in the race, and we got to continue to play well. I don't think we've played our best, um, you know, down the stretch. We got a great, we got a great uh, division. Every game's tough, and uh, it's going to come down the wire like it did last year. So it's about executing and, um, you know, really not giving any games away. Well, yeah, of course, the NL Central. I mean, you can't, you, you know, teams like the Cincinnati Reds are better. You're not just yeah. picking up wins like you did last year. You got to fight and grind for this one. Yeah, there's no free wins in the division. Uh, everybody's competitive. Anybody can beat anybody on, on every night. And I think that's a big reason why I think top to bottom is like three games or something like that right now. <laughs> so it's going to come down. It's going to be a wild finish. And uh, I think we're all looking forward to it. Well, bro, I love yeah. meeting up with you at these right. things, it's bro. <laughs> KB, Christian Yelich right here, man.